ex-offender, the gang member, the drug dealer. God loves uh, those that commit abortion. My God, God loves the sinner. That's why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, into the world. Not to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Hallelujah. Greater love no man has but to give his life for his friend. And Jesus died for us while we were yet sinners. He died for us because he loves us. He died for us not because of anything that we do, not because we deserve it. No one deserves the grace of God. No one deserves the gift of God. But it pleased the Father to crush him for our sins so that we may be forgiven. I have come in the name of Jesus to tell you that God loves you so much. Yes, God is angry with the world. But you can be angry with your son because of what he does and still love him to death. God loves you. God loves you. And he has not given up on you. The proof that you are alive, that means that God has not given up on you. Whatsoever it is that you may be facing, God has not given up on you. You've got the opportunity to call on the name of Jesus. As long as you are alive, irrespective of what kind of trials and adversities you face today, as long as you are alive, you can receive God's gift of salvation. God's gift of everlasting life, please understand. It is not over until God says that it is over. No one's opinion matters. The amount of guilt, shame, and condemnation that you carry, it doesn't matter. Jesus paid with his blood for your sins. Jesus paid with his blood so that everyone that put their trust in him might be forgiven. Salvation is a choice. You've got a choice. God says, I place before you life and death, and I place before you places and curses. And then he says, choose life. It's a choice. I have come in the name of Jesus to tell you that today you can make the best choice of your life by calling on the name of Jesus and by repenting before the Lord your maker. Today you can choose to return back to your first love. Today you can choose to humble yourself before God and accept the gift that He has for you. A humble soul will always receive. Someone that is humble will always accept. Hallelujah. May God bless you whatever you find yourself today, whatever you are. There is not by chance or coincidence that you are hearing this. God is still waiting for you to come back home. He is waiting for you to return back to your first love. It is never too late. And the devil's opinion doesn't matter. Our God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is sovereign. He told Pilate, Pontius Pilate, he said that my kingdom is not of this world. Every kingdom in this world has passed away. They have come and they will go. Every rule as they have come and they are gone. Every name in history is fading away by the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. There is something about the name of Jesus. It is by the name of Jesus that sinners are being set free. It is by the name of Jesus that all kinds of sicknesses are being healed. There is no other name under heaven by which we can be saved. Except by the name of Jesus. In his name I have come today to tell you that. There is no sin big enough that his blood cannot wash away. There is no amount of condemnation and guilt that you carry. That his grace cannot remove. There is no amount of tears that you shed. That his love cannot contain. The Bible even said that every one of our tears is being recorded in his book. God knows your struggle. God knows the struggle of the drug addict. God knows the struggle of the alcoholic. He knows what you are facing. God knows the struggle of the prostitutes. He 
knows your struggle. He knows what is going on in the dark alleys. God sees the knife crime. God sees all the gangs. And he sees the children's hearts. God sees your heart. He knows what you are facing and he knows your thoughts. But the question is, the question is, do you want to be well? Do you want to be made well? Yes and no question. Do you want to be made well? God has seen it all. And he has come today to deliver you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that there is a life. There is a life where the father doesn't abuse his daughters. Indeed, there is a life with no hatred. A life with no abuse. A life full of love and compassion. There is a life full of forgiveness. A life without fear of death. A life without worry of tomorrow. A life without where you don't have to worry about the uncertainty of the present times. Because when you know your God, you will be still and you will put your trust in Him. Our God is not a dead God. He is not a piece of dead wood hanging on the wall. God is alive. God is alive. He answers prayers. If you would only humble yourself. If my people will humble themselves, call upon my name, stand turn from their wicked ways. If you would only humble yourself and call upon his name, if you turn from your wicked ways, he will hear from heaven. He will hear from heaven. When was the last time your God heard your prayer? When was the last time their worthless idols heard your prayers? He said that he will hear from heaven. He will remove your sins. He will forgive your sins. And then he will heal the land. Don't you know that what is going on in the world today is the consequence of our sins? Don't you know that it's our actions that have caused all of this? All of this destruction that is in the world today? Our sins, they make us liable to destruction. Whatever lives are being destroyed is because of sin. Families are being destroyed because of sin. Marriages, communities, nations are being destroyed because of sin. But we've got a remedy. And that is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the antidote. The blood of Jesus is the answer to all the sins of the world. He is the Lamb of God. Jesus is the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. The blood of Jesus. I truly tell you the blood of Jesus can remove every one of your sins that you have ever committed. He is the ultimate sacrifice. He shed his blood for you and I so that we may be forgiven. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin because the Bible says in the blood there is life. And he said that the soul that sins, he shall surely die. But Jesus shed his blood for us so that we may surely live. Hallelujah. I truly tell you that God loves you. The Muslim, the black, the white, the Asian, the South American, the Buddhist, the atheist, the Satanist, the Romanian, the Ghanaian, the drug addict, you name them. We are all part of the whosoever. God says, whosoever calls unto the name of the Lord shall be saved. We are all part of the whosoever. And greater love no man has but to give his life for his friend. Jesus gave his life for you. Jesus gave his life for you so that you may live. Ladies and gentlemen, I truly tell you, there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus that do not live according to the flesh. But according to the Spirit of God, whatsoever the devil may be telling you is a lie and it doesn't matter. There is no condemnation. The Word of God says there is no condemnation. It's appointed to man once to die and then the judgment. You're not going to stand before the devil. You're going to stand before God. And the devil's opinion doesn't matter. He says there is no condemnation, therefore, for those that are in Christ Jesus. That do not live according to the flesh. But according to the Spirit of God. Every condemnation that you carry. Every guilt. Every accusation that is upon you. God is ready to remove it. 
if you come to Jesus and if you submit your life to Jesus Christ and I truly tell you it is never too late for you to receive salvation it is never too late for you to accept God's gift of salvation it's a choice you've got the choice please understand yes our life is a is the result of the choices that we have made day, day in and day out some of us we made good choices some of us not so much but it doesn't matter what it matters is that we are alive today and that is by the mercy of God for it is because of God's mercy that we are not consumed it doesn't matter the past yesterday five years ago what it matters is that we are alive today and as long as we are alive God is giving us an opportunity to receive this salvation please understand it is never too late I have come in the name of Jesus once again to remind you it is never too late to get right with God it is never too late to say yes to Jesus to receive this gift that he has for us God loves the police officer just as much as he loves the thief that the police officer is chasing hallelujah God loves the world he doesn't pick and choose he made provision for every one of us to make it into the kingdom of heaven please understand may God bless you may God keep you I pray that the mercy of God will locate you whatever you find yourself in you don't need no sophisticated prayer all you need is an open and a sincere heart all you need is to call on the name of Jesus and to turn away from your sins he says go and sin no more that's what you've got to do call on the name of Jesus and go and sin no more get right with God today because today is all that you have we don't have promise tomorrow Hallelujah.